Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. In what seems to be a stroke of genius, Diaper Boot has managed to steer the boat into a tranquil river heading towards a jungle. A post-apocalyptic jungle cruise of sorts. So let's sit back and enjoy this rare bit of calm while we still have it and delve into a rare cause of stroke, the anterior cerebral artery stroke. The anterior cerebral artery, or ACA for short, originates from the internal carotid artery and supplies the medial surface of the parietal and frontal lobes, as well as parts of the corpus callosum, internal capsule, and basal ganglia. And just like these shimmering waterfalls feed into the main river, the ACA enjoys collateral flow from the anterior communicating artery. If we go back to our image, you can see how this backup flow connects the left and right anterior cerebral arteries and can help support the distal ACA territory if the vessel becomes compromised. However, if an aneurysm ruptures right in the anterior communicating artery, it can lead to a bilateral ACA territory infarction. Every rose has its thorn, I suppose. Or every silver lining has its cloud, something like that. Regardless, ACA strokes have a spectrum of symptoms and severity depending on where the damage occurs. So let's float down this river and see what our friends encounter. <laughs> 